According to Native American legend, there are 13 crystal skulls that are the same size and shape as human skulls. And these crystal skulls were left behind by the earliest ancestors from way back in the mists of time. The skulls are containers of great knowledge, great wisdom, information that is important to mankind. In fact, the legend also prophesies that at a time of great need, all of these crystal skulls will be brought back together again, and that when that happens, they will divulge the knowledge, the wisdom that the Native American elders believe is actually vital to the very survival of the human race. The Mitchell Hedges crystal skull was considered the Royals Royce of the crystal skulls. It was the most beautiful crystal skull. It was discovered in the 1920s by the explorer F.A. Mitchell Hedges in Central America. Mitchell Hedges loaned the crystal skull to scientists at the Hewlett Packard Laboratory back in the 1970s, and they were unable to find any kind of tool marks on it. One of the most interesting things that they discovered was that the crystal skull was not made of just any old bit of crystal, but it was made from a type of crystal known as piezoelectric silicon dioxide. And this is exactly the type of quartz crystal that we now use inside all our information storage devices and all our communication devices. Any quartz crystal object, including our crystal skull, can be encoded with information and in fact, a quartz crystal can hold more information than a computer chip can. So any crystal object and crystal skulls is, in a sense, a small, mini computer storage device. And just a small quartz crystal can hold more computer data than even uh, the largest thumb drive that you're able to buy today. When you think of the legend that said that the crystal skulls were containers of great knowledge, then perhaps if you think how much information we now store inside a tiny silicon crystal chip, then maybe there is vast amounts of information, as the Native American elders say, inside a crystal skull. Mitchell Hedges was told by the locals that this skull was given to them by their ancestors. And it was said that their ancestors were the sky people. Now, whenever I hear references to sky people, are we really talking about invisible things that somebody just came up with? Or a being descending from the sky in some type of a flying machine? 